The Lamar Silver Foxes have never been afraid to play bigger schools. Last year, they beat Hartsville, Marion, and Darlington in non-region play on the way to winning 11 of 13 games. This year, only three starters return on offense, and not one starting player is back on defense. So you're going to be terrible. No. You're not going to be terrible. No. Okay, let's... I, I'm terrible, I'll lose my job. <laughs> Coach J.R. Boyd led the Silver Foxes to three consecutive state titles, the last one coming in 2004. In order to get another ring this year, Lamar will have to do it with a freshman tailback, a new quarterback in Nick Price, and a different approach on offense. Lamar used to be a running team, but now we're going to the spread offense, so it'll be a lot of passing, a lot of quick game, you know, trying to get the ball up and down the field. Demetrius Peoples and Akeem Barr are go-to receivers on offense and will try to keep Lamar's reputation as one of the top defensive teams in the area. I think we'll win the whole region. I think nobody can beat us. Well, on the defense side, that just gives us more opportunity for younger guys to step up. So once we get them step up, we should be good. Lamar won nine straight region titles until Scott's branch took the crown away last year. Coach Boyd says Scott's branch and East Clarendon have the edge heading into this season, but he believes the Silver Foxes will get better as the season progresses. As we go through the season, uh, our relatively young, we're going to platoon this year. We had 19 seniors last year, so as we get through the non-region games and into the region, we hope we're seasoned by the time we come to the region to make a run in the playoffs.